We just finished up another month, which means another month of read alouds, which means another video where I talk about 10 awesome picture books that we read during the previous month. And one thing that I was noticing when I was stacking these books is how fun it is to look at like how old the books are. So some of the books that I am reading just came out like months ago. One book doesn't come out until next month. And then some of the books are 10, 12 years old. And that's one of the things that I love about talking about the books that I share in my classroom is that I can talk about the latest and the greatest and the oldies but goodies. And that's just what's awesome about being a classroom teacher because every single year, so many of these books are brand new to the readers that I serve and that makes me so happy. I'll have a complete list of all the books down in the description in case you wanna purchase any of them and add them to your collection or go to the library, check them out. Here we go, book one. The wall in the middle of the book. I love this book. It's so fun. And it is all about this wall in the middle of the book. And this character is like feeling good to be on the wall and the wall is protecting. It's fun. It's hilarious. And one of the things that I do with this book is I save it for a day when we ran out of time and I only have like a little bit of time to do our end of the day read aloud because it doesn't take me very long to read this book and the kids love it and it's really funny. So, you know. Not probably the reason that you're thinking you came to this channel, why teachers pick books to read, but sometimes you just need a quick book. This one, awesome. Next up, I did it, folks. I have been, it's my shirt, one Western All Pampers. I've been trying to read this book the day before Thanksgiving break for years. And almost every year, I forget it, to read it. I, we have just go to school two days that week, Monday, Tuesday. I remember on Monday, tomorrow, read Balloons Over Broadway. And then Tuesday comes, and in all of the excitement of Thanksgiving, it doesn't work. I forget. I get so sad and so frustrated. But I did. I remembered to read Melissa Sweet's awesome book about the true story of the puppeteer of the Macy's Day Parade, Tony Sard. Melissa Sweet's art is just different, y'all. It's just different. And it's unlike anything, and it's fantastic. And the way that she can do this like collage brilliance of art to tell a story to give us this information is just a treat for readers the kids loved it it was fascinating and we talked about the parade and if they were going to watch the parade and the favorite balloons in the parade and which children's book characters have balloons in the parade really fun book if you haven't read this book you can read it anytime but it's just magical to read it the day before thanksgiving right okay let's see what we have here old school Caldecott Winner, A Sick Day for Amos McGee, Aaron and Phillips said, Michiganders, love this book, could read it every, I could just read this book every season. It just brings me so much joy. Amos McGee, doesn't feel good. Not having a tough day. Animals come, visit him, you know, make him feel better. It's just lovely. It just feels timeless. It feels like a classic, even though it was published this century. It feels like it's been around forever and Forever into the future, people will love this book. What, what better than that can you find? What better? One of my favorite books of the year, The Tree from the River, this wordless picture book, takes a look at basically this setting right here over the course of a very, very long time. So as you can see, just how things change. It's so interesting how things get built up, how things fall apart. Wow, I'm not gonna show you all that because you need to experience this book for yourself. It's such a beautiful and wonderful book. And we're big fans of Aaron's Journey series, those books, so it was fun to, to revisit him in this new wordless book. E. Bunting recently passed away, which is sad to me. One of my favorite uh, picture book authors is one of my favorite ones of hers. I also love Fly Away Home um, and so many others. And this one that's illustrated by Lauren Castillo is just awesome. This girl, her family is moving, mom and dad, and because they don't have, they don't have the funds to stay in this home and they have to sell everything, and just watching, watching her experience, um, saying goodbye to all of her things, including her headboard, where she counted how many times they read Goodnight Moon on, it's really heartbreaking. The book is uplifting, and there's so much hope in this book. If you haven't read this one, check it out. It's, it's awesome. Another favorite from 2023, Beneath Corey Dorfeld's book. I love her book, The Rabbit Listened. And this is a beautiful story about a child who is having a tough day. Don't really know what's going on. The grandpa's like, hey, let's go for a walk. We start talking about what's beneath beneath us and what's going on inside of us and all the things that kind of make us who we are and help us to, you know, how we're, why we're feeling the way that we're feeling. And we don't always know what other people are feeling and we can compare it to like what we don't see. 
from trees that we don't see under the water. It's awesome. I love this book so much. It's a forever favorite. This is the one book that comes out in January of 2024, Pepper in Me. Uh, and it's a story of this girl who falls down and scrapes her shin and she gets this brew, this scab that she hates. She hates the scab. She hates having it. She's so mad, names it Pepper. What an interesting, what? Like, where do people come up with these ideas? Seriously, you're gonna write a book about a girl hating her scab and giving it a name? Picture books, y'all. So stinking fun. Extra Yarn, John Klassen, Mark, Mac Barnett. Uh, I can't believe this book is like nine, 10 years old. Holy smokes. And I just love Annabelle. She finds this box of yarn. You probably read it. And then she just starts knitting things and she like never runs out of yarn. So she just like knits everything and just like knits. It's just won't stop. And someone wants the yarn, offers her a bunch of money. It's like, no, it's my yarn. It's like, uh, no. And then they, there's like a stealing. Oh, it's so good. Extra yarn. Mac and John. Mm. The Fire of Stars, one of my favorite informational books of the year. Uh, it's a picture book biography of the story of Cecilia Payne and how she discovered what makes a star. But what I love about this book is you have this biography going on, right? You have this biography, this journey, but also here it's telling you the story of stars and how stars come to be. And this, like, how, the way that this, these two, this story of, like, nature and the story of this woman, like, the parallels in them is just wild. I don't know, one of the most unique picture books I've ever seen. And then finally, wow, one of the best. One of the best picture books. Put it on your Caldecott list. Pay attention to this one. Holy smokes. Carol Lindstrom, Steph Littlebird. An absolutely stunning read about a young native girl and her relationship with her hair and how that is tied to her her culture and to who she is and what it means to be her. And it's just gorgeous. Like, look at that art. The conversations we were able to have around this book were just magical. And that's what picture books are, y'all. They tell us these stories that we would have never heard. They make us think about things we would never think about. They help us deal with difficult things. They help us understand things. They help us become the people that we want to be and then the people that others desire to be. Holy smokes. I hope you read some awesome picture books during the month of November and then you continue to read amazing picture books going forward. Let me know if any of these sound good or let me know in the comments something that you read aloud. That would mean the world to me if we could add some books. You know, I've read my kids like 50 picture books, 60 picture books so far this year. So always looking for recommendations. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Colby Sharp. I hope you have an awesome, fantastic day.